Hi guys, awesome that you've tuned in. Today I am more, more than stunned to present you this incredible watch right here. And as you always, um, yeah, uh, hear it from the, from the hosts, it is super hard to really catch the beauty and maybe even the heft and quality of a watch from just looking over a picture or even checking out some uh, videos on YouTube, you know? It's, it's unbelievable what you are getting in that price range from Seiko. Guys, what I'm having here and what is constantly freaking shining and uh, making us a hard time to review this watch um, is its incredible dial, incredible craftsmanship, incredible quality that you have here. I mean, how can you better check quality of a watch than um, you're trying to maybe mess with a different strap as this watch is coming with a uh, metallic bracelet and you try to swap out the, the strap and then you're seeing, Jesus Christ, look at these bad boys right here. Look at that. Did you ever seen those kind of unbelievable? Look at that. How, how, how freaking massive they are. And, um... Same as as it goes to the uh, Penerai, uh, this strap is equipped with a with a tube in there. Look at that! I hope you see it. There's an additional tube, so it's not wobbling around. Um, as for the watch, we're talking about a Seiko Yumura. It's in commemoration, produced for I think it was a hill climber. Um, it is a limited edition, as you have already seen that. A super sought after piece, thousand pieces worldwide. And when you go over that watch, you will truly find some similarities to the Willard. But yeah, it does maybe look like the Willard, but it's not a Willard. It does have a beautiful fine line along the case on both sides. Um, it is as crazy as it sounds. It has been polished at the Grand Seiko Studios. And afterwards, it received its um, uh, Zeratsu polishing. The Japanese just uh, said, you know what, we're going to coat it and we're going to hold it forever. So that means before you lose your beautiful Zeratsu polishing, I mean, you will just maybe get a small, small little scratch into this. It is carbon coating, I think. Um, yeah, case coating. And it's... It's really very, very overthought. And maybe, you know, like Japanese are, they do not like to stand out too much. They like to get blend in perfectly. And that's what this watch really does. It tries to blend in, to not be too loud. But, you know, if you know, you know what we're talking about. White gold hour markers, white gold hands, incredibly well finished. Everything is absolutely on point. The way how they have printed the dial is so crisp unbelievable you got a additional date complication in there and now guys I, I hope you guys sitting where we're having this watch equipped with even a grand seiko base caliber and it's not just an an ugly looking one it's a really pretty one uh it is the 8l35 and uh it does it does you know makes you slowly understand okay this watch is around 300 300 bucks around 3300 bucks and uh, it's well worth the money i gotta tell you that guys as you have probably already seen in the beginning i'm a super super huge dive watch fan so we got here a few bad boys laying around but let's just focus today in the comparison on this beautiful incredible watch and let me tell you guys i bought that watch and uh you know i do not have um, a lot of watches in my collection most of them are uh, just, uh, you know, I'm getting them for review and then I'm giving them back and stuff like that. But, uh, I am a Seiko fan. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys. And, uh, I had a Grand Seiko, uh, prior, a Grand Seiko, beautiful one. It's yes. And it was a little bit too classy for me somehow. You know, people said, you know, that's an old man's watch. And I was like, no, 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 no. It, it's a beautiful watch. But then I realized it was just too classy. I am more of a sporty watch wearer. And this watch really 
ticks all the boxes. I mean, it's sporty, it's flat, it has an 8L35 Seiko movement, the dial is produced at Seiko, Grand Seiko Studios. Everything is assembled at the Grand Seiko Studios. The way how, how it feels, you know, the bezel action, listen to that. Very quiet, as I said, it just tries to blend in to be a sort of a ninja samurai warrior, and I like that about the watch. You know, I, I like watches like that. I have my Japanese car, my Nissan GTR, and I think this watch is really suiting me very, very well if I you know go on the track or maybe as a purpose is really saying, um, yeah, try to dive with that watch. Probably I will never do that, but in, you know, in, in case I ever try to dive, this watch is water resistant, resistant to 200 uh, meters. Very cool. Also, a tiny little protrude uh, glass that you have here uh, compared to the Seamaster. Look at that. Seamaster is almost like rightling-ish, like from the 90s, and this one has a very small little dome in the center. Guys, a very cool watch and let me just put it on my wrist take off that bad boy right here as you see uh, put it on the side uh, and get this one on my wrist and mind you I have the 175 wrist conference in size and uh, it's not too big it's not too small it's maybe the one on where I would say it's a middle size and what can I say guys oh man it has a heft to it, you know? Do not understand that wrong. Do not mis un uh, uh, mistaken it. I mean, even though this watch comes on a rubber strap, it's as heavy alone from the case weight as this Omega Seamaster with its driven bracelet. So you have to understand that it's a very, very substantial and hefty watch, but super comfortable at the same time and uh, very, very easy to wear. I think having it black, you can wear it with everything, in jeans or, you know, you know what I mean. So, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about the watch, what you think about the way, the quality. I hope I could get the message across about this watch. And if you liked that video, of course, guys, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm going to see us in the next video. Until then, love you guys. Bye-bye.